175 brake horsepower at the rear wheels. Let's go and find out what it can do. Oh, this is not the S model. No. Um, well, I'm sorry if that's a disappointment, but as, as, as you find out, 475 is enough to be going on with. Um, okay, um, we're going to start just by checking the brakes on this thing actually work. It's always nice to know when we're going out of the hamlet so it can slow down to the corners. Yep. So I'm going to kick things off for you this afternoon with a high speed emergency stop. For a moment, this isn't it, just on the way to it. But that's one of the things about these cars. If you drive them normally, they do drive like normal cars, it's all pretty calm and placid now. But there is another, another side to the car's character, let's meet that now. It is no accident the piece of real estate to our right here resembles a runway because once upon a time that is exactly what it was. Speaking of Hi. runways, time to take off. steer around them and it's a useful way of thinking of ABS ability to brake and steer but just because you saw me do that it doesn't mean you can run out in front of the car <laughs> the most modern cars can do that the trouble is most modern drivers can't because they don't pay enough attention most of the time so stick on the pavement nice. and there we are that's today's public service announcement done and dusted uh, we're going to head out onto the, hand the handling circuit now it is a handling circuit though not a racetrack so not really about out and out speed so much as keeping the car there's only one place on the whole circuit where we will be going in a straight line for more than a second at a time. This keeps me quite busy. But um, you will get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Just mind your heads on the sides of the car. There may be some abrupt direction changes through corners.
there we go, there's a little bit about the car's power and agility. Yeah. Earlier on we were chatting about one of those systems that's there on cars to help drivers retain or maybe regain control when things are getting out of hand. Uh, but control always remains vested in the driver and it would be remiss of us not to uh, not to show you a little bit about driver control as part of this. So just to finish off now, we're going to pop out onto two surfaces that simulate ice and I'm going to switch our stability program ESP off. So the only thing standing between you, the ice, and the 475 rampant horses I mentioned earlier is me. You have a right to be a little bit concerned just about now. things that once you've got your head around it, it's it's a piece of cake. But as you can see, the fellow in front of us is um, having a little bit of difficulty <laughs> getting his head around it. People who can um, just get into a car and drift it are very, very few and far between.
Okay, folks, thank you very much for coming along for the ride. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.